Hey there, welcome back to the vlog. As you may have noticed by the title of this video, I've hit a milestone. Anybody that's been following this vlog for any length of time will probably also understand that the last time I hit a milestone, I also hit a technical problem. The problem last time was I couldn't speak because I cracked my tooth just as I was getting up to my 100th video and I had to go to the dentist for some emergency work. And I couldn't speak properly because my mouth was full of wadding and anaesthetic and you know, like it was, it was a bad situation. <laughs> so, as I now have my 100th subscriber, woohoo! What's also happened is I've got another technical problem. This time I forgot to pack my tripod. <laughs> so you're currently balancing on top of Kelly Clarkson, on top of a couple of uh, uh, polycarbonate uh, boxes, and uh, hopefully you don't fall off. So tomorrow I will retrieve my tripod from the office and I will be back to recording with my normal setup. But right now it's a bit precarious, so uh, hopefully this doesn't suddenly go, ah, and fall off sideways. <laughs> Yes, as I just mentioned, I've hit my 100th subscriber. It's exactly a year to the month since I started this vlog. It was in January of 2017 that I decided in a car park in Scarborough that, you know what, I'm going to start a vlog. And I did, there and then, with my cell phone. At the time I thought this was going to be a very very interesting grind. Like I knew that there was work to be done and I had a lot to learn and you know as time has gone by I have actually learned a fair amount. Uh, having said that I've, I know I've got a long long way to go still. The other thing was in the back of my head I never had the ambition to want to become big and as time went by you know you start watching the subscriber number it's like you know you got two subscribers then you got four subscribers and then you got eight subscribers and things went very very slowly for about you know the first 11 months you know when i hit my 100th video in november i had 32 subscribers now 32 subscribers is still a large amount when you think of standing up in front of that many people like you know that is a classroom of people uh here we are now eight weeks later and it's free and a bit classrooms of people. It's amazing how fast that happened. In the past 28 days alone, I think I've taken on something like 40 people. Uh, and yeah, as I mentioned before, like I do appreciate each and every one of you. Like uh, it's great that you stick around. Um, I've been very lucky so far that with the exception of one troll, everybody else has been absolutely great. And you may have noticed that since I mentioned in the video the other day that I had picked up a troll, that troll has suddenly stopped. <laughs> so yeah, I guess without having to call out that person by name, they knew that I was onto them and uh, yeah, like it is what it is. So this weekend that just passed was the Toronto Boat Show. And you know, I always go to the boat show every year. I think I've missed about two in the past 20 years. Uh, it's just really the highlight of my winter is to go and spend a day looking at things that I can't afford. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I took one of the kids along with me and yeah, you know, I was pleasantly surprised that there's been a trend that's been going on for a couple of years. And uh, that trend appears to have continued this year. Going back probably about 15 years ago, my, ideal boat would have been like a 40 foot long carver and you know those boats back then were going for about three and a half million dollars now as time went by you know we hit the 2007-2008 crash and you know the boat prices they pretty much you know the top end boats they started to crash from like the three million mark down to about 1.3 1.5 million so fast forward to this year and yeah you know, my ideal boat would be the sea ray sundancer 350 and you know that boat is now four hundred and ninety thousand dollars. so that's less than half a million dollars so if this continues my ideal boat will be affordable probably within the next 20 years as it will be like a rowboat that costs you know a couple of hundred dollars <laughs> so <laughs> But having said that, uh, you know, this was a very, very nice boat. I really do like the Sea Rays anyway. Uh, you might notice in some videos I'm wearing a Sea Ray blue t-shirt. Uh, you know, it's one of the things that I've had for a couple of years. I, I just really like Sea Rays. But some of the Sundancers, especially like the, the 50 foot ones, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous, but it, you know, it now seems like it's too much boat. So, you know, I seem to have now found my new ideal boat, which is, you know, the Sea Ray Sundancer 350. And yeah, it's, it's a really, really gorgeous boat. One thing I did notice that some of the boats are doing this year, which I am not really a fan of, is they put these blue LEDs everywhere. And, you know, that really does, I mean, I, I don't know, it, it just, like, the blue LEDs, it, it sort of makes it feel like halfway between a strip club and a nightclub. Like, it really just feels wrong to have a really expensive boat like that, and then all of a sudden just, like, trash it with blue LEDs. 
Like, I don't know, there's just something seedy looking about it. So anyway, like, I'm not a fan of those. But a lot of the other boats, they, they look absolutely gorgeous. And I, I really do like them. So anyway, that's what I've been up to this weekend. There's not too much to it. It's just, you know, hanging around the house, doing a lot of odd jobs and going to the boat show. So I would like, again, to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed. And uh, I think as this goes out, I might be at sort of 103, maybe 104 subscribers. But um, yeah. As I said, each and every one of you does mean a lot to me. And so far, the interaction I've had with you people has just been absolutely brilliant. Like, yeah, you're a great bunch. Uh, and I, I feel very, very fortunate to have you because it could have turned out so much worse. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Thanks very much and speak to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye. Hold on to that toe rope nice and tight with both hands. But last but not least, in both.